we welcome you to the Yagano Art Family. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to be talking about uh, healthy competition in the arts. And so, I recently got this idea from a prior video I did, which was titled, Comparing Yourself to Others, Don't Disrespect Your Experiences. And it can also be seen as, you know, comparing yourself to others in terms of uh, an artist's perspective. And so, within the comment section, I posted that video on the forums and it got, and I read some of the comments and it gave me a uh, idea to do a video on uh, healthy competition versus unhealthy competition. And so, individually, for healthy competition, individually, it depends on the artist or how much involved they are in in terms of you know self improvement or bettering themselves there are two type of mindsets that artists can either go into and these two types of mindsets is uh, you know first off the the healthy competition and within the the healthy competition we are inspired by these you know advanced or talented artists we want to know what they do and so from us learning from the other person that we inspire to be like from their experiences we take what works for for us and leave out what doesn't work for us just due to no two individuals being the same and due to no two individuals being the same we have no business in the comparison in our in ourselves to the other person because we have each lived our own different lives and it could be more of a, a healthy comparison as opposed to an obsessive or an un unhealthy comparison. When you're at a point where you start to lose yourself within the other person's world, you start to, you know, compare yourself. You start to say that you're a bad artist or so. Uh, you start to get jealous. You start to develop all these uh, negative emotions towards the other and so since each person is different, uh, it'll be based upon uh, the individual's uh, self-esteem as to rather they have the healthy mindset of competition as opposed to the unhealthy aspect of, you know, competition. You know, in a, a very obsessive, they start to lose themselves into the other person's world. And, and you start to, you know, in a way, scrap out your identity into and put your identity onto the other person. And I feel that, you know, balance is key. Although you, you do want to understand, you know, the other person's world. You don't want to dive too into the other person's world because you are a unique world that hasn't been discovered yet. And so as we, you know, expand our individual world, we, uh, again, we take what works for, uh, for us and we leave out what doesn't work for us. That's the, the whole goal of life is to, you know, improve and learn. And so when we are jealous or when we uh, hate the other individual or when we, you know, feel that we are unworthy of obtaining that, uh, you know, that kind of skill, we aren't really making ourselves a match to success because other successful people wish to see uh, other successful people do well as opposed to, you know, being jealous of them or hating on them or so. So I found what helped me is uh, elevation, uh, being of service to people. When you elevate other people, you in turn elevate yourself. When you look down on people or devalue people, you're, devalu you're devaluing yourself. And so we want to be very careful as to what kind of mindset that we have. And so that will be the video guys on healthy comparison or competition be inspired be inspired and as you are becoming inspired by other people you will and then turn into an inspiration and yeah peace out